Welcome to the Dream Big, My Friend podcast, where you will find all the inspiration you need to begin living a more intentional life today. Because no matter where you are right now in life, it's never too late to dream big, my friend. And now here's your host, Francis Vitakovic. Hello, my friend, and welcome to the Dream Big, My Friend podcast. This is your host, Francis Vitakovic. And it is such an honor to have you with me here on this episode. I am so excited about this one and the next two that I will be recording because I'm going to be sharing something special with you here on these episodes. So for those who aren't aware, I'm the author of over 20 books. I would say like probably 25 books. I've literally lost count. And inside my Inspiring Life Teachable course, so you can visit my shop front, which is at inspiring-life.teachable.com. I have over 50 digital products and courses available to purchase there. So I create courses, everything to do with parenting and personal development and lots of business ones too. You can find it at my Inspiring Life Teachable store. So what I'm going to be sharing with you in today's episode is just a sample from one of my products. Okay, it's my book called The Essential Blogger Mindset Handbook, all about the mindset that you need to achieve blogging success. And the coolest thing is, is that everything I'm sharing in today's episode can apply to any business. So if you are a business owner, listen up because you're going to get so much out of today's episode. So I'm going to kickstart by sharing a little bit from my chapter called The Basic Blogging Mindset Essentials. This is from a book that has over 250 pages. So let's just jump right on in. So I preface this chapter by saying, to be fair, the following qualities are demanded from any person on a mission to achieve a bigger than normal goal. Whether you are chasing a million page views or wanting to climb to the top of Mount Everest, or you want to build a house from scratch. If you replace the word blogging with any term that constitutes your end results, the same rules will still apply. These same rules apply to any goal chaser. So to achieve something different or amazing in this world, you will need to do something different or amazing in this world. You will need to learn to step outside your comfort zone. You will need to learn to think differently and act with total faith, purpose, and determination and have an end goal in mind. Okay, It's super important that you have a really clearly defined goal. So here are some things that are essential to succeeding as a blogger or a business owner or a goal chaser. I'm just going to ad lib here a little bit. And A is, or well, point number one is clarity of your goal. So what does being a successful blogger even mean to you? To one person, being successful might mean replacing their old income and being able to give up that previous job to work full time as a blogger, even if that income's only $2,000 per month. To another person, it might mean earning six figures a year, which is, if we work it out, it's $8,333 per month. And yet another person might aim for substantially high income goals, such as five figures, which is a minimum of $10,000 every month. And then you could have another person who might want to officially retire their partner so they're no longer dependent on a second income in their family, and that could be their blogging or business goal. So did you notice here that each person has quite different monetary goalposts that they feel like they need to reach before they consider themselves to be a success? But guess what? There's no right or wrong answer to this question, what's a successful blogger? It's whatever it means to you. You, my friend, get to determine what success means to you in the areas of business or honestly in any area of your life. So that's the first thing, okay? Having a really clearly defined goal. And just, I want to add a quote here, which is by Albert Einstein, who said, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them, which brings us to the second quality that we absolutely need to have in order to succeed in any era of our life. And it's a never give up attitude, also known as determination. So I can't tell you how important this one mindset shift is. You never, ever, 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 ever give up. Honestly, nothing else matters if you don't have this first bit of advice and attitude drummed into your head. You never give up on yourself. You never give up on something you love. You never give up on a dream and you never give up on something that you believe in. Yes, there are going to be tough days, so expect it. And please don't act all, you know, surprised when things go wrong or you face another challenge because these hurdles and obstacles exist so that you can prove to yourself how strong and resilient you really are. So as Joel Osteen so wisely said, 
get your mind going in the right direction and you'll get your life going in the right direction. Okay. So it's all about having that right mindset, which brings us to the third quality that you need to embrace. It's commitment to being consistent and persistent. So to succeed as a blogger or a business owner, you need to be both consistent and persistent. Okay. Both consistent and persistent. We all have our own timeline for success, so please don't waste your energy comparing your progress with other people. You, my friend, have your own path to follow. So let's just assume that this journey might be a bit tough in advance so that you don't freak out when you face those hurdles. Assume that you will need to work hard and stay committed to doing whatever it takes to make your blogging business your full-time career and to succeed in whichever way you have already defined it in part A. And at all times, you will need to focus on your dreams and ask yourself that question, what is the next right step? Do not worry about having having to have all those answers right now. You don't need to have them right now. If you just focus on your next right step and then the next right step and then the next one after that, everything will reveal itself to you with time at the right time. So don't, don't assume that you have to know it all now. Repeat this process again and again. It's like a rinse and repeat process. Just keep on moving forward without ever giving up. So I want to mention another quote here by Louise Hay, who said, every thought we think is creating our future. Okay, so it's all about mindset stuff here. And that brings me to the fourth point that I want to make. You need to treat your hobby or blog or whatever it is that you're working on like you would any other serious business. Now, some bloggers, and I'm talking about bloggers in this example, because that's what this book is focused on. Some bloggers make the mistake of treating their blog like a hobby. They don't invest the time or money that it would take to make this hobby or take it to the next level, make it a serious business. They don't make a commitment to their blog and they think things will just happen instead of realizing that it is up to them to make things happen. Start by keeping an eye on the time that you spend on your blog. Do you work on your blog every day? Do you sometimes sacrifice sleep or TV time to get things done? More importantly, are you taking it seriously? The moment you begin to make blogging a priority, if you have a blog, you start to get really precious about your time. You aim to learn from the best, so you begin studying blogging tips consistently and try to implement what you can to see if it will work. And sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't, but that's okay. You just keep on moving forward anyway. And when you are a serious blogger, even if you're just a newbie, and remember, this applies to business owners too, you will put your own heart and soul on the line and into your work because you know that this is what it's going to take you to get to the next level. Anything less may not be enough. I'm going to repeat that here. Anything less may not be enough. And when you treat your blog, let's just say you're working on a business and it's a hobby, when you treat it like a business, you also shift your mindset to not just working harder, but working smarter. You start to consider the ROI, which is a return on investment when it comes to how you spend your time. What tasks are going to help you move the needle the most in your business? What tasks are going to help you generate more income? In the end, unless you are just doing this for fun, the goal is to be rewarded well for all the time and effort that you are investing into this business. So you need to ask yourself the question, like, how can you monetize this blog or your hobby? Are you planning to earn your income via ad income or affiliate income, whether it's sponsored posts? Maybe you want to have digital products that you sell, such as courses and books, or you want to sell uh, printables, or you want to offer coaching or VA or freelance services or membership groups, or a combination of the above. Okay, you need to have clarity here. You need to give some thought to monetization if your goal is to earn money from this business. Where do your skills lie? Like what resources and answers are your audience after? What problems do they wish they could solve? And how can you offer your community a solution to their problems? How are your successful or your most successful competitors? Okay, we want to pay attention to the competitors too. Currently earning the bulk of their income. And what can you offer your audience that is valuable, much needed, addresses their pain points and helps make their life so much easier? When you begin to treat your blog as a business and you shift your mindset to that of a business owner, these are some questions that you're going to need to give thought to. And the cool thing is that you can do it. You have the potential to make your mark in this world with your blogging business. You have something special and valuable to offer this world, to have faith and take the time to find what will set you apart from the rest. It's so important. Now, another quote, this one's by Wayne Dye, who said, If you change the way that you look at things, the things that you look at will change. And let's talk about tip or my suggestion number five, a willingness to invest in yourself. 
So when I started blogging, I knew that I could write well, but I had no idea how to market the blog posts that I was publishing. Even though I actually used to work in marketing, I used to be a marketing manager, but it's also almost like a different playing field. I also didn't understand SEO in the way that I do now. Like in the beginning, it's like I struggled to even understand what it stood for. But rather than feeling overwhelmed, I took advantage of some of these amazing courses that were available and I invested in my education. I have paid for more courses than probably was necessary and some were definitely better than others. But why did I do this? It's because that I knew how important it was to invest in my education. I finally put my money where my mouth is and I cannot tell you how instantaneous and amazing that change in my attitude was. Just like a doctor needs to go to medical school to learn his highly developed level of skills and a plumber needs to undertake an apprenticeship to learn his trade, I knew that I needed to learn from the best, the best of the best, and you know, learning from the most successful bloggers currently out there. And when I finally began to invest in my blogging education, I felt like I was a budding millionaire in the making. It made me feel I was actually taking my business, my blog, seriously. It prevented me from staying stuck because I wasn't allowing my, well, I don't know how to do this thing attitude to stop me anymore, okay? If I didn't know, I had to find a way to work it out. I needed to find the answers to actively search for them. Now, I'm not usually one to throw big money at courses, okay? Little money, yes, big money, no. But I intuitively understood that some courses were a necessary investment in my career and future as a blogger. That is how I got to where I got to. After nine months, I made up my full-time career. And these courses were just little stepping stones that I needed to take when it became obvious that my skills were seriously lacking in particular areas and I needed to learn more. And with this new knowledge, I felt invincible, like I could and would do everything necessary to make this dream of mine a reality. Now, my suggestion to you is this. If you are stuck with a particular task in your business, seek out help. You absolutely need to keep on learning to move ahead in this field. Don't ever give up on blogging or your goals just because you don't understand something, especially when there is a course out there to help you learn how to master those skills. I know that I personally have created so many, many courses to help bloggers, such as, you know, how to write 20 blog posts every month, how to write a book in a month, how to set up a podcast in less than 10 days and launch with heaps of episodes already published. Okay. If people have ever asked me a question, I've done my very best, my very best to create a solution for you so you don't have to struggle on your own anymore. I promise you the answers are out there. And for the record, a good investment in a course will help you make more money in the long run, okay? That's always been my goal, like to purchase something and to know that I'm going to make more money after taking that course. In the long run, these wise purchases are going to help propel you closer to your success. Now, let's consider another quote by Buddha who said, the mind is everything or what you think you will become. Now, these are just a few of the qualities that I've actually identified in the Essential Blogger Mindset Handbook. In this book, I go on and on, okay? Like I said, it's over 250 pages long. It talks about all the hurdles that you are guaranteed to face on your journey to setting up a full-time business and how to actually overcome them. And There is so much more in this book, but I just want you to understand the truth is you can purchase and take all the expensive courses that you like and you can dedicate hours to your craft, okay? Any business goal that you were chasing, But if you don't have the right mindset in place in advance, it will often feel like you're taking one step forward and two steps back. Like if you don't believe that you have what it takes to succeed, you can sabotage your efforts before you even step outside the gate. And if you aren't 150% committed to a task, you're going to find a hundred new excuses why it's too hard to succeed rather than a thousand reasons why you should never, ever, ever give up. So you may be wondering, well, how do I know that this is true? It's from personal experience. As you all know, I used to be a full-time certified life coach 20 years ago, and I could almost tell you immediately which clients would succeed at chasing and achieving their dreams and who was going to struggle and flounder and eventually give up. And it all came down to having the right mindset. And thankfully, I might say something that we've actually got total control over. And my book, that Essential Blogger Mindset Handbook, is all about helping you create an attitude adjustment if one is required that's going to help you flip the switch and catapult you to success. So in this book, so remember, you can check it out at inspiring-life.teachable.com. You're going to find exactly what a successful career as a blogger will require from you. No holds barred. 
In the book, I also identify the specific hurdles that you're going to face on your blogging journey and exactly what you need to do to move past those obstacles. I also address how to stay motivated in the face of struggle, adversity, or common setbacks, and the very best mindset tips to help you succeed. So if you want to grow big, you need to stop thinking small with your mind and break free from any of those mindset issues that might be holding you back. If you think that your mindset needs some work, the Essential Blogger Mindset Handbook is definitely the tool to help prepare you for success. The goal of a book is to get you feeling stronger and more determined than ever about your path, about your future success, so that you can act with more intention, conquer all those obstacles that you face, have clarity about your purpose, increase your ROI, return on investment with time, learn to work smarter, not just harder, and eventually just achieve the success that you are longing for. I know that you can do it, but it's like John Addison so wisely said, you have to win in your mind before you win in your life. So I hope that you have appreciated this quick little sneak peek almost out of this handbook, which has helped so many bloggers so far. Definitely check it out. You can check out all my courses at inspiring-life.teachable.com. I'll also make sure to include the link in the episode notes. So as always, my friends, thank you so much for being here with me. I do love and appreciate you all, and I can't wait to catch you on the next episode. Until then, dream big, my friend. Thank you so much for listening. If you loved this episode, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you really loved it, you can show your support by leaving a review on iTunes. For more inspiration, head over to dreambigmyfriend.com, where you will find even more content for all the dreamers out there. Until next time, dream big, my friends.